Tracked all the way by Ford. Now Barbarousas. Kept in rather inadvertently by David Ball. Costa with one for the crowd. Ball. Phoenix doing well to keep it in a tight area, but they'll recycle now. Helped into the area. Zavala! It's such a familiar sight. Oscar Zavala rises high, and in the 11th minute, he takes his tally for the season to seven and puts Wellington into a 1 0 lead. I thought it was going to be very difficult for Zavada to find space today. He got three centre backs in there, three big lumps. It's a fantastic pass. Jordan Elsie, another who's been around for a while. 159th A League game for Jordan Elsie this afternoon. The pass to Maragas, who pulls it back, spills Barbarousas! An error from Cameron Cook. Costa Barbarousas didn't need a second invitation. The only man who's ever played on this ground twice in the A-League men has doubled Wellington's money. They're 2-0 ahead. Keeper's got to do better, but again, that's what goal scorers do. They're ready there. On the front foot, bang. Back of the net, 2-0. He hasn't been particularly prolific this season, Costa Barbarousas, but it's a second A-League goal of the season for him. That is Costa Barbarousas' 80th A-League men's goal. Spread across... Four different clubs, of course. This is game 286 for him. Third stint in Wellington Phoenix Colours. Amini looking to find a way back for his side. Katrombus goes past Baragas. Good from Johnny Katrombus. Sale pats it away. Katrombus heads it across and in and in by David Williams for the second time this season. David Williams scores against his former club. And the two-goal buffer didn't last very long. David Williams makes it 2-1. We spoke about a minute ago. <laughs> what are they going to do? How are they going to get back in the game? And, and there you have it. They went straight on the front foot. David Williams and Cullen, a bit of a mismatch at the far post there. Cullen's probably got to open his shoulders a little bit. Might not be able to see Williams yeah, underneath the ball. Good finish. Firth Crawley looking to construct another attacking move. Latchman. Beavers. Jelicic linking up with Williams and again Keegan Jelicic across the six yard box and almost an own goal from Tim Payne swatted away by Ollie Sale. Gee, it's treacherous in these penalty areas. You know, this is oh, it's a fantastic save from Ollie Sale. You can't have been expecting that one. First of an A League men's triple header for you today. MacArthur against Western United at Campbelltown after this, then. The Mariners against the Western Sydney Wanderers foul on the edge of the penalty area as David Williams went to ground under challenge from Tim Payne. Dangerous free kick situation here for the visitors. Lachlan Kivas is coming over to have a chat to his assistant and also the fourth official. We're just going to have a look here. So the only thing they can be potentially looking at here is an upgrade perhaps of a yellow card to a red if that is the denying of an obvious goal scoring opportunity that's the only thing VAR can look at in this situation yep upgrade oh. the yellow card has been expunged and it will be upgraded to a red card for Tim Payne in the eyes of Lachlan Kivas it is the denial of an obvious goal scoring opportunity There's a, look, there, there might be enough there but for me that is not an obvious I think it's the word obvious, and I'm, I'm not sure that was obvious. He's got a lot of work to do from there. That's brave in the uh, in the away end. Yeah, I think he'll be welcomed in Yellow Fever's uh, section of the ground, that Perth Glory supporter. Great to see at least one has made the trip. Here's Krajev. Clever from Bozhenev. Krajev! Good save by Cook. Sliding in Barbarousas, rather Elliott. Cook comes out and toes it into touch. Great footwork from Bozhenev Krajev and a pretty tight area. He almost came from nothing, but, but brilliant footwork considering the, the conditions. Managed to keep it under control and weaved his way in and just couldn't quite get enough on the shot. Amini with the shot, which just about threatened Oli Sale's goal frame. It was an awkward one for Sale. He's patted it behind eventually for a corner. Rye smile from Oli yeah, Sale as Amini's shot drifted quite threateningly. I think he's a little touch onto the bar. Oh, blimey. Yes, indeed, Oli Sale following it all the way. Mustafa Romani, only four A-League goals. Well, we're approaching the 80-minute mark. I get the feeling it'll be a rather nervous removal of shirts from the Yellow Fever if, in fact, that comes to pass in about 60 seconds. 
Yeah, agreed. A little bit apprehensive, that one. I'm not sure I want it off just yet. Um, but it's tradition, so we, it'll, be, it'll be good to see it. Ball was a near post and hit it, and they're not going to get the chance to do it because David Williams has come hearing towards the near post and scored his second of the afternoon to draw Perth glory level here in Palmerston North. If you look at the run, the run's unbelievable. He's in the blindside position behind Sermon and Rufa. Couple of steps to lose him. And the finish is fantastic. What a header. Drives it into the six-yard area and off the crossbar again. And wide this time from Zimmerino. Mark Beavis rising high and almost very nearly scoring his first A-League men's goal, which would have certainly given Perth glory all three points in Palmy.